Hello everyone, this is my first English talk and they have put it in the schedule just a few days ago, so excuse me for reading some notes. Anyway, I'm happy to be here with you. We are here to find out more about full text search in Django with Postgres. My name is Paolo Melchiorre and I'm Italian. I'm a computer science engineer. I am a backend Python developer for more than 10 years and Django developer for about five years. At the present, I'm working remotely at 20Tab. As a senior software engineer, I'm not a database administrator, but I'm a loyal user of Postgres in all my projects. With this talk, I want to show you how we have used Django, full text search, and Postgres in a real project. The main reason why we used Django and Postgres-based full-text search was because we preferred to implement full-text search without any external tools. These are the main topics of this presentation. Full-text search in general, existing solution for full-text search, full-text search support for in Postgres, Django support for full-text search, the project concertiaroma.com, the next innovation in full text search, some personal conclusion, and any question after the talk. Full text search derives from the need to do some document search. For example, to file all documents that contain specific word and its variation. If a document contains house or houses, it will be the same for the search. Some examples of everyday use of full text search are search engine, document search, email searching, and so on. This is a list of some features that we can find in an enough advanced full text search solution it, that can we use in a real project. Stemming rankings, stop word removal, multiple language, accent support indexing, and phrase search. Elasticsearch and Solar are um, two solutions for the full text search that today are popular and used. There are others, but these are the only ones that I have used in my professional project. They are Lucene based and written in Java. Snap Market was a startup where I worked in the past and that produced a mobile phone application for sell and buy used items. In this project, I used Elastic that had already been set up on the system, but we have some difficulty managing and synchronizing it. We had to apply some patches to Java plugin that we used for the compound of words in German and I didn't particularly enjoy it. Another project was uh, goldscout.com. It's a website dedicated to show sport videos uploaded by public user, and it has um, about 25,000 videos. The use of solar for uh, full text search in this project was a customer choice. We always had some problems synchronizing the data, and at the end we preferred doing all writing on Postgres and all reading on Apache Solar. This solution that I've spoken about are full featured and advanced. There are many online resources regarding it, documentation, article, frequently asked question. But I found some problem in synchronization and uh, I've always had to use a driver to connect with it. It's a bottleneck between the Django and the search engine. In some cases, I have to fix the code. Personally, I am a more a dev than an ops, so I don't like to be forced to integrate various systems. I prefer developing a solving problem writing Python code. Postgres has been supporting full text search since 2008. Internally, it used TS Vector and TS Query to process the data and to search. It has some indexes that can be used to speed up the search. 
Gene and GIST. Postgres has added support for phrase searching in uh, 2016. Okay, before we define the full text search uh, using the concept of document. The document is the general concept used in the full, full text search and where the search is done. In a database, a document can be a field on a table, the aggregation of more field on a table or in different table. The module Django point country point Postgres contain the support for the full text search. The support for full text search has been present in this module since the 1.10 version. Instead, brain and gene index, indexes have, have been added in uh, 10.1.11 version. The gene index, sorry, the gene index is very useful to speed up full text search. The use of Postgres full text search in Django is more developer friendly for me. Okay, let's look at the function of full text search in Django, starting from the models present in the search documentation, the official documentation. We have a blog and uh, an author classes connected from an entry classes. These are the basic search that we can use on model in Django using a filter with contain in the first case in the second case, using case incentive it contains in order to get more results. We can activate the unaccent Postgres module uh, so we can use the unaccent extension to search without worrying about accented characters. It's most useful in various languages, also in Italian. This involves a full tab table scan execution and it's potentially slow. Another extension is Trigram. Activating, activating the Trigram Postgres module, we can use the Trigram extension. A Trigram is a group of three consecutive characters taken from a string. We can evaluate the similarity of two string by the number of the Trigram they share. It's more, it's a lot uh, useful, but uh, sometimes it's not enough. This is the base search lookup of Django, and with this we can execute a real full text search on a field. But it's a real simple example. We can use a search vector to search on more field on the same obje object or connected object, like in this case. When we pass a text to full text search by a search query, we can apply operation of stemming and stop word removing, even on the user text. And on this, we can apply basic logical operation. We can use also the Postgres rank to calculate the score of a document relation to a searched text. And we can use it to filter and uh, to sort it. We can set up the search vector to execute the stemming and stop word removing for a specific language. And we can get these languages also from a class field. It's possible to set up the search to give a different weight on various fields and the use, and we can use these values in the search for filtering or ordering. We can decide to add to the model the search vector field to speed up the search. It's very fast. But we have to update this field manually, for example, using Django Signal or with Postgres Trigger. Okay, this is the project we are working on. Concertoaroma.com is a website to insert and to search for show, festival, bands, venue, all in the city of Rome. At the moment, the website has the following numbers, but are growing up. And the website is online since 2014. 
This is the version number two. It's the old version of the website. It was developed some years ago with Django 1.7 and it runs on uh, Python 2.7. The data was managed by Postgres version 9.1 and the search is performed only using SQL-like syntax with filter and so on. This is the version three. It's the new version recently released, was developed with Django version 1.11 and it runs on Python 3.6. The data is managed by Postgres version 9.6 and the search uses its full text version search engine. Let's have a look at uh, an example of manager defined for the band class. It defines a search method that contains all the full text search logic. It's more complex that, than the before example. To better understand the mechanism, we can take into consideration an example of a simplified test internally defined. In this test setup, we define the example data that we will use afterwards to test our search two bands and two musical genres that we assign to the two bands. In the search test on the bands, we simply invoked the search method giving us search text and we got back the list of values for the fields nickname and rate. Nickname is stored on the band table while rate is calculated by our search method at runtime. In this example, we compared the, our search result with a list of lists where we defined the pair composed of the band's nickname and the numerical value that is the search rate. Or in other words, the numerical value that defines the importance of that. We have seen a simplified uh, use of current feature of Django and the Postgres full text search module it itself. But of these software are getting better in these fields and these are some of the features that can be available in the next future. Okay, in conclusion, the following under condition we evaluated to implement this solution not having any extra dependencies, not doing too complex search, managing easily all the components, synchronizing data is not requested, Postgres is already available in our stack and is present at Python-only environments. These are the resources that I used to prepare this talk and to develop uh, the search function I showed you and we used on the website. I would like to thank 20Tab, the company I work for, to have given me this opportunity and Mark Tamlin, the original Django Country Postgres developer for sharing with everyone his work. Thanks everyone for the time that you have spent listening to me. Uh, this presentation is released uh, with Creative Commons and you can download it from my Speaker Deck account after some hours. If anyone uh, has any question, please wait after the presentation. And if you want, you can contact me here. Thank you. Thanks, Paolo, for, yeah. for your presentation. Hello, really interesting talk. Uh, I was wondering because in one of the slides, if you got, get a few slides back, you're showing the rating. Uh, I'm not going to ask how exactly do we calculate the rating because it's, uh, I can imagine that's proprietary information. We're doing something similar. But I'm wondering... Can you speak? Oh, sorry. Okay, 
I'm wondering how much control do you actually have on the fact how the rating is uh, generated? Can you, for example, say, uh, I want to rate higher words that are longer than uh, five characters, or that uh, if they appear early in the sentence, can I put a, a higher value of this one? Sorry. <laughs> For me, it's difficult to understand clearly your question. Can you come here? And okay. okay, this is the search rank. Uh, okay, let's say you have uh, an example. Uh, Miley Cyrus is playing a drum on in July, right? Mm -hmm. And someone is searching for uh, Cyrus. Will that be ranked high if you want to say, "Oh, this is uh, Cyrus appearing on the second uh, as a second word in the sentence"? So, if I find another sentence that it's appearing on the, as a first word, I want to rank that one higher. Do we have that kind of control in Postgres? Uh, you can control with the, this other, this other functionality. Sorry, I need to get back. Sorry. The functionality is the weight, set weight, but I'm searching. Okay, uh, you can specify the weight for some field, mm -hmm. and uh, in Postgres, you can specify four type of weights from A to, to C, to D, sorry, and you can change the number uh, related to this uh, weight. And um, configuring a lot of these type of number, you can uh, have a different type of weight, f of final weight. There is also two different uh, type to calculate the rank in Postgres, uh, TS rank and TS rank CD, and that have different logic. Uh, the first one, uh, count the frequency of the word in your document, and the second one uh, have a very complex uh, logic. But uh, it's more flexible, and we used to construct a search vector with 10 or 11 of these. You, I showed you in the example. So uh, we worked a lot in these fields to calibrate and to settings in very low details the results in the search instead of. Uh, having some trouble and searching to fix the synchronizing like in other solution. But I think it's, uh, it's uh, advanced enough to, um, to setting a lot. Your Thank search. you. You're welcome. Uh, can you give us uh, some more information about uh, the difficulties you encountered in uh, synchronizing uh, uh, the uh, document database uh, with the classic uh, search engine like uh, Solar uh, or Elasticsearch. Thank you. Okay. Um, in both the project I speak before, there is there was um, a guy that managed to synchronize this um, the Postgres database and the uh, Elasticsearch or Solar engine. And uh, he encountered a lot of problem of, of timing. Sometimes the, the user want to uh, flag, a, for example, in, a, in our site, flag a concert to, to like, and uh, he have to wait um, the, uh, the data came from the database to the other engine, Elasticsearch, and every time uh, is um, a, a slow process, uh, especially when the, um, the volume of your data grow up. And you can, uh, you can have a very good uh, machine to put on um, Elasticsearch, for, for example, but in this project, uh, this was a very little project, so we don't have a lot of 
big uh, machine to do that. And with Postgres, we don't, don't have this problem at all because the data and the full text search is in the same, uh, in the same PC. Uh, it's, it's good. The last question to Paolo. No? So let's thanks again, Paolo, for his interesting presentation. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.